Okay, this is the fly jacker. We are going to be tying a jackinator green. First thing we do, <clears throat> take this hook and knock off the barb on the inside. This hook is a awesome hook. I've caught four and a half pound peacock on this and it didn't bend it or cause a problem. We have white bucktail. We also have palming chenille. And emulator bait fish. We'll be using green thread. I take the thread all the way past the the curve because that shows a little bit then on on the fly when we're all done. Put several rounds down there. jigs a little bit Sorry, uh, resin. Lock in the threads. Take a small clump of bucktail. We're going to get the long ones out, the short ones out. And less is more on this. Don't need very much. And it's just going to stick out about the same length as the fly. And these get cut off. Next we're going to add the bait fish emulator and we're going to just tweak this a little bit and less is more here too. You don't need a lot of this. It seems like the smaller fly, the peacock bass seem to like it just as much as or more than a bigger fly. Not sure why but we're going to have it about the same length as the as the bucktail and we're just going to quick pull these back that gives it the mid body material bring this forward for a second what I've been doing is adding a little bit of resin right here 
That helps stiffen that up so it doesn't follow as much. I'll just flash it. Okay, now we're going to take a about a three inch piece of this material. And I didn't find my end or leave it out the last time, so it's always a little bit of a problem. I just soon have a little extra and cut it off than not enough. So I'm going to take a little bit longer piece. I'm not saying to waste it, but this stuff is fairly cheap for the number of flies that you get in a bag. Not sure how it's measured anyway, to be honest with you, when they put it in the bag. Okay, so all we're going to do is start wrapping this. And again, try and get as much going back as possible. This stuff gets a little wild in the bag to start with. And it doesn't train backwards very well. A little moisture on it, it helps some. And then a little bit sparse going forward because we want the green body to show through. I'm going to go extra wraps right behind the head. I'm only going to go across once. I'm going to come right back underneath and then come over the top again and then back underneath. And we're going to tie it off right away. Right there. I'm not going to do any wraps in front of the eyes per se. This is where you if you tie a bunch of these, I guess you'll figure out what that distance is. And build up a nose on that. Just going to bring this back here for a second. Get my lighter out. Get those cleaned up first. I'm going to give it one little hitch before I do my my uh, whip finish. And then this is where you can kind of just hold these back a little bit when you give it the flash. That helps set those backwards. I'm going to hit a little more on the bottom. That's it. Sometimes I'll take my scissors and just trim off the sides a little bit, but you can fish it just like that. I love it. Thanks for watching.